Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Red Sports Complex. We're back for another exciting matchup here. It's game two of our doubleheader between the visiting Newberry Wolves and your LR Bears. Your Bears are looking to move to 10-1 and one on the season and 4-1 and one in SAC, excuse me, 5-1 and one in SAC Conference play. Bears coming off a tough loss to Lincoln Memorial. But this Bears team is still 9-1. I mean, I talked to some of those players, uh, some of the seniors on this team, and they were just not necessarily relieved, but at the same time they know they played their better soccer in the second half of that match, just wasn't able to put it into the back of the net. But this is a new game. They're here at home where they're still undefeated. And they are just one of the most explosive offenses I've seen in this conference. Very prolific, scoring the ball. So stay tuned for that as I get the starters just in a couple minutes. So we're about six or seven minutes from beginning this one. We'll be back shortly with, you know, our game keys, keys for the game, as well as some hot takes on who we think is going to come out on top here today.
So we are back here at Moret Sports Complex. It's Adik Holly Ande here on the call. You're watching Bear Sports Network on the sack live. Now going to give you the starting lineups for both squads. First with the visiting Newberry Wolves. S starting in the goal is number one, Jalen Gent. At forward, number four, Emma Harris. At, defend, at defender, number five, Samantha Molina. At forward, number eight, Taylor Hyatt. At defender, number nine, Courtney. Velasquez. At midfield, number 10, Jacqueline Aldre. At defender, number 12, Sierra Chavez. At forward, number 13, Daphne Hiami. At midfield, number 14, Monica Jimenez. At defender, number 20, Sally Slice. And at midfield, number 22, Vanessa Byard. And now for your LR Bears starting lineup. And at midfield, number two, Abigail McGarrell. At defender, number three, Olivia Thomas. At defender, number four, Alicia Cruz. At defender, number five, Aria Acton. At midfield, number eight, Axa Mushtak. At forward, number nine, Hannah Van Eerden. At midfield, number 11, Nev Dustin. At midfield, number 16, Amanda McFarlane. At defender, number 24, Christina Shimshak. At midfield, number 25, Maddie Kyle. And at goalkeeper, number 26, Charlotte Warner. These Bears come in at 9-1 on the season, like I said. 4-1 in the SAC Conference. Looking to stay undefeated here at home. Now is the part of the broadcast where I tell you the hot takes and what we're looking for for this Bears squad. So I got the Bears coming out in this one, coming out hot and staying strong. I'm looking for a 4-1 victory here today. I think Abby McGarrel is going to start off scoring for the Bears somewhere around the 19th minute, somewhere early. Bears are going to go up early. They're going to get matched 1-1, and then they're never going to look back. They're going to just pour on the goals in this one. So we're about a couple seconds away from opening kickoff here in Moret Sports Complex. Should be in store for a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Bears looking to match the performance from the men's squad, As we are back here, about to start this game. LR donning their home whites. And the visiting wolves are in their darks here. Under the lights. Should be a good one. Wolves will control with possession here. So you see Maddie Kyle getting the start here on that left wing. Coming in for Ali Zuger is usually in that spot. And Kyle has done a really good job off the bench this season in relief. Three goals and three assists. Very dangerous there on that wing. And Nev Dustin 
a rock star freshman for this Bears team. Has five goals on the season herself. And I, I just love the that fact about this team that anyone is a threat to score. I know there's been some players that haven't been able to come into the game yet, um, but when they're on the pitch, they're a dangerous threat to score at any point. As you see Van Eerden. As this Bears team led offensively by seniors Axa Mushtak and Abigail McGarrell, both with seven goals apiece. And Mushtak is absolutely filthy in the midfield. And McFarland trying to win it back. Mushtak gets to it. Shimshak. And love Shimshak out on that wing, coming off her outside back position and really pushing forward in support. Does a great job for this Bears squad. Now Dustin on the ball. Cuts it back. Takes a shot. And that's a goal. Nev Dustin. Yes, yes, yes. As the Bears put it into the back of the net. 1-0 here. As we show you that replay. An absolute curler by Dustin. As that was top bends by Nev Dustin. As just like that. Very quick goal, might be the quickest one of the season for the Bears, 1-0. And Dustin now with six goals on the season. Shimshock making a run forward. Shimshock lays it back across the six and that will be cleared out of bounds for a corner. Great opportunity now for the Bears to get something going and add to their lead. As Axa Mushtak will look to play her service here. A salute the Bears crowded around the penalty marker. Mushtak puts it. It's up. And Van Eerden could have been there for the ricochet, but elects to let it go out of bounds. It's gonna be a throw-in. It's gonna be Rhea Acton, excuse me, Rhea Acton on that far sideline. Dustin now turning. Acton steps forward, plays it back to McFarland. McFarland looking to switch it. And this Bears team just very explosive. It's a great ball played forward. Shimshuk lays it back across. Kyle's trying to ricochet it back in, and that will be a corner kick. It's a great start for these Bears. I hope you're on the edge of your seat because that's where you need to be the whole match when you're watching this Bears team. As Dustin, short corner, and that one was read like a book by the Wolves. Moose talk now with the ball. Moose talk, 1v1 here on the wing. Kyle's trying to get clear some space. And another corner kick here for the Bears. That makes three here in the first five minutes of the match. And Dustin's very dangerous from the spot, scoring two goals, two Olympicos off corners on the season. Looking to play her service now into the box. It's curling, it's up. And Van Eerden will head that one out of bounds. That is Jalen Gant back in goal. I know Gant is probably thinking in her head she didn't even get her breather out there. Time to, you know, get some 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 minutes under her. Get some minutes under her um, belt back in goal before getting scored on right there. 
And that's just one of the thing about, things about this Bears team. You can not fall asleep. So if you fall asleep, they're going to catch you off guard, and they're, they're gunning for your throat. They're, they're not going to let up. Mushtaq, great touch outside. And as we talked about, she's, she's a magician with the ball. Mushtaq, a very ambitious shot from 30-plus yards out. Gant will be able to get that one. Acton has time to settle, and she'll let that one go out of bounds. I can't, enough can't be said about this, about this Bears defensive squad also. This back line is very sharp. For this LR team as they have seven clean sheets on the season and that's just a testament to this back line and Warner I know she's not called up upon a lot here for this Bears team to make a bunch of saves but when she does there's no one better back in goal than Charlotte Warner As Warner coming deep off her line to push it forward to Cruis. Ball played forward for Shimshock. Shimshock looking to get to it, and that's a great ball by Mushtak. Shimshock looking to play an out swinging ball. Van Eeren turning and just rolled her foot over the ball right there, not able to get some power under it. Good switch by McFarlane. Now Kyle back to Acton. Acton with some build up here. Acton cutting in. Dustin stepping towards the ball and some collisions. That's going to be a tough, very tough angle for Acton to fire a shot off. Ball thrown in. Dustin is there. Now Mooshtok looking to go to work. She's got Shimshock there. She looks up. McGarrell now. And almost a handball, but they're going to call ball to hand. This, that defender of the Wolves does a great job of keeping her arms to her chest and not really extending them. Now the Wolves are looking to counterattack. Ball played forward. That's a great looking ball played up by number 22, Vanessa Byard. And a strong challenge going the other way. Van Eerden. Does that look like just a 50 50 ball? And Van Eerden looked like she got to it first, but going to be going the other way now. So that's the captain, number nine, Courtney. Velasquez. So that ball goes over the fence. And some pressure here. By the Wolves on the Bears third. And look who's there. No, no one but Warner able to scoop that one up. Now Thomas looking to push forward. She's got Acton there on the sideline. Acton making a run. And they're going to look to keep their shape and resettle. Now McFarland there on the far sideline. You know, talking to Axel Mushtak and Abigail McGarrell. This is a very fun nature group here. <clears throat> this squad, they love to, 
you know, have fun. And it's just talking to Mushtaq about, you know, what's some hidden talents and things like of that nature on this team. And <clears throat> so there's a couple of players who I will not name, very good at bus karaoke. Love to, you know, take some, you know, some stress off of the game and, you know, have some fun. And, and apparently McFarlane was voted best dancer on the team is that's that's what I've heard but some all around great talented players on and off the pitch looking to do more of the same here so looking to add to this lead a ball played out wide for Mushtaq Mushtaq now cuts inside lays it off for McGarrell McGarrell looking to fire Plays it for Van Eerden, and she cannot settle it. Bears still looking to attack. Mushtaq now. Cuts inside. A beautiful turn. Mushtaq still going. Now Van Eerden fires low and driven, and that will be saved by Gant. Don't blink when you're watching the Bears, especially when Mushtaq has the ball. Just making defenders look absolutely silly. Balls put up to Van Eerden. McGarrell stepping towards it. Good body right there by Olivia Thomas. Marking her defender. Able to step between the defender and the ball. Ball played out well for Kyle. Kyle needs to look up. She's got act in there. Kyle turns. Kyle with the ball plays out wide to Mushtaq. Mushtaq cuts inside. Now at the six, still with the ball. Mushtaq fires and puts it into the back of the net. Mushtaq magic. 2 0 Bears. Show you the replay here. And just Moose Talk able to beat three or four defenders and able to put it in. Good defense by Abigail McGarrell. Good defense by the Bears as quickly they have extended the lead to 2-0 here. If you're just tuning in, I'm out of Kalyande here on Bear Sports Network on the Sack Live. Moose Talk just coming off scoring a goal is now pushing forward here for the Bears. Now Dustin looking for a hand ball and no call by the ref. Now Acton. Acton now looking for some support. McFarlane has a lot of space if she wants to shoot. McFarlane fires from outside, and that will go wide. That's the kind of pressure you need.
As Gant looking to take the goal kick, sends it forward. Thomas, good job of shielding that crew is. Plays it back to Warner. As this Wolves team, they don't have a lot of players really pressing that back line. Giving Olivia Thomas free room to make a run. And if Kyle had continued, she might have been able to get there. Ball played in, headed up. Miguel trying to step in the path. Dustin able to win it. Now Dustin turning forward. Mushtaq going to get dispossessed. Now McFarlane turning upfield. Van Eerden's there. Great touch by Van Eerden. Now Dustin, opportunity. And just a, too heavy of a touch. As Alicia Cruz now pushing forward. A good ball to Shimshock. And that just goes a little too much out of her way. Well, like I was saying, there's not a lot of pressure there from the forwards of the Wolves. Really giving free reign to anyone on that back line to make a 20, 30 yard run forward and support. Balls cleared up ahead by Velasquez. Wolves now threatening. Balls crossed in. Thomas is there. Able to clear it away. Up to Mushtaq. Now Dustin. Van Eerden steps towards it. Thomas, a strong header. Crew is now looking for a run to be made. Shimshock. Smigarrel now trying to find Kyle. Kyle will be there. Lays it back to McFarlane. Bears looking for the right opening to put up goal number three here. Mushtaq. Up ahead for Kyle. Kyle now to Dustin. Dustin looking to turn upfield. Trying to find it. Rhea Acton. Now Rhea Acton going to have to backtrack. That's good defense by Acton. This to stop the momentum of number 10. Jacqueline Aldrit. Van Eerden. Now McGarrel looping ball played forward up ahead for Shimshock. And Shimshock with a lot of wheels there able to put some pressure and still get back to the ball. These outside backs are extremely athletic for this Bears team. Now Mushtaq fires another one as that one is deflected. Dustin settles, brings it down. Miguel now with the ball. And that'll be a corner kick for the Bears. So that's gonna be it's gonna be Axa Mushtaq. And Karu Shimshock puts it up, punched away now. McGarrel settles. And a back heel by Van Eerden, not able to put it in.
Spares looking to push forward. Mushtaq sends a ball up in the air, trying to find Kyle. Mid goal kick now for Gant. Wolves now pushing forward. Thomas putting pressure there. Still making a run forward on the Wolves. Good. Good defense by Cruis. Throw in by the Bears on the far sideline. Mushtaq is, Shimshok is making a huge run forward. Out wide for Kyle. Acting going to put pressure. So that one will be out of bounds. Good turn right there by Dustin. We're going to switch the field here in Moose Talk. Shimshock pushing forward. Dustin. Bears now looking to attack. And Van Eeren going to be clipped from behind. And this is a dangerous spot from the Bears. As Dustin and Moose Talk will be called on to perhaps put this into the back of the net. I've seen Axa score from this distance before as also Dustin is able as well. Really just a preference. Do they want Mushtaq's left boot or do they want Dustin? That might be a, a promising angle here for the righty. Dustin, if she can curl this one over the wall or just lay something driven. Let's see what the Bears do here. Mushtaq takes it, curls one, and she just got under that one. She wants that one back. A goal kick for Gant. Now the Wolves are pushing forward. We're a little under halfway here in this first half. Your Bears are up 2-0. to zero. As Kyle's going to make a run. Great ball by Thomas. Played forward to Van Eeren. She turns. She's got space here. She takes a shot from deep. And that one will be settled by, by Acton. Just not able to handle that one. Dustin, a lot of space here. 
Plays it out wide to Mushtaq, and Shimshok is making a huge run down the sideline. Shimshok has such long strides. A dangerous strike. Mushtaq just taking bumps left and right and still able to keep the ball. McFarlane now steps up. A lot of space. McFarlane could fire here if she wanted to. McGarrell going to reset it here for the Bears offense. Cruz now stepping forward. Puts one up here. Van Eerden's there. Header laid down. And that's going to go right to Gantt. There's a throw in here for the Bears on the far sideline. Dustin here with the ball. Mushtaq. Now Van Eerden. Shimshok making another run forward. And that ball's going to be behind her a little bit. Ball sent forward. Acton going to have to race towards it. It's still going to be inbounds. Now be a Wolves throw in here. Deep in the corner. Wolves possessing a shots fired, deflected by Acton. Trying to be cleared away, still in the box, dangerous spot. Dustin getting tugged on from behind. Van Eden looking to step towards it. Now McGarrell trying to start the break. McFarlane has moved. Moose talked out there on the wing. She plays it out wide. Moose and McFarlane looking to go 1v1. Loses track of that one. As we're going to have some subs check in. It looks like that is Ali Zuger and number 10, Judith Sanchez checks in the game. Warner. Out to Cruis now. Zuger there on the wing, acting going forward. Sanchez being tugged on from behind. Garrell takes over. Acton making a run here on the far sideline. Garrell electing to switch it to Cruz. As Bears offense is, you know, leading the sack and in shots per game as well as leading the sack and and goals per game. So very lethal offensively. Ball played up ahead. Mushtaq trying to get to it. 
She's dispossessed in the corner. Now Shimshock plays it out wide. Van Eerden. Back to McFarlane. McFarlane sends a looping ball up. Zuger trying to get onto it. Would have had some space to settle if she wanted to. But heads it out of bounds. And now McFarlane on the ball. Moose talk on the outside. Wolves now looking to counterattack. Good challenge by Zuger. Good challenge by Zuger. And going to be cleared out of bounds by the Wolves. Another sub will check in. I believe that is Scarlett Kelly checking in for the Bears. Ball's played forward. Zuger is there. Just keeps it in bounds. Plays it across. And that's a good second effort by Ali Zuger. Missed time that pass and just not able to settle it. But does a great job of laying it back across the six. So that ball is going to go into the box, and Warner is going to be there. So a little under 12 minutes remaining in this one. Your Bears are up 2-0 to zero here over the Newberry Wolves. And a great ball put up ahead. Shimshock will be able to get to it. Shimshock 1v1 now in the corner. Mushtaq, they're going to work it back around. McFarlane is acting if she needs help. Thomas puts forward, now Sanchez. Now McFarlane going to the corner again for Shimshock. Looking for a, a run here from the Bears or some movement. McGarrell now, 1v1. Acton cuts inside. Acton has space here. Ball's up in the air. Studs up. Zuger switches across McFarlane. Cruis pushing forward. Out wide to Mushtaq. And not enough on that pass. The Wolves were able to read that one. Now Sanchez has a lot of, excuse me, Kelly has a lot of room. <clears throat> Thomas goes forward. Needs some bears to make some runs here. 
Love their movement has just been 1v1s, making people miss, and then finally getting some support. Kind of stagnant right now. Sanchez has the ball. And Zuger gets fouled right there, but still keeping the ball here for the Bears. And that's a strong challenge by Moose Talk. Now, Acton here and Zuger turning upfield. Zuger, good switch over to Mushtak. Mushtak beats their defender. Mushtak still with the ball here. Mushtak fires and she scores! Goal number two, Axa Mushtak. Bears up three to zero. Show you the replay here. Mushtaq able to beat the defender 1v1 and just laced it in, finding the post. Now extends her goal total to nine goals on this season. Your Bears are up 3-0 here in this first half. A little under eight minutes remaining. It's been a dominant first half by the Bears. Really just keeping possession in the majority of the game, and there really only have been chances for the Bears today. That just a stifling defense. Warner out wide now to Acton. Zuger cuts in. Acton's making a run. There's a lot of space there. And no one able to find her. Mushta cuts inside. Trying to turn and gets her jersey tugged. <clears throat> And that one goes out of bounds. <clears throat> Cruis pushing forward now for the Bears. <clears throat> Scarlett Kelly. Ball played forward as Shimshock making a run. Shimshock able to get onto it. And I think that took a deflection, but I guess not. It's going to be a goal kick for the Wolves. Ball swung out wide once again. 
Good move by Rhea Acton. A lot of space here for Acton. Sanchez, a good dummy move and gets clipped. And uh, it's going to be a call. His ref is going to give advantage. But now a great spot here for a free kick. Opportunity. As Sanchez and Mushtaq will be on the ball. Mushtaq shoots and skies another one forward. She wants those last two free kicks back. Mushtaq a threat to score for him wherever she is at on the pitch. Uh, McFarland turning here for the Bears. Zuger over to Kelly. Zuger now an out swinging ball still up in the air. Out wide to Mushtaq, cuts inside. Mushtaq is fouled, and it'll be another free kick for the Bears. It's going to be Mushtaq and Judas Sanchez on the ball. Both have scored off free kicks this season. Ball's played across. Cruz is there now. McGarrell turning. Now McFarlane with the ball out wide to Shimshock. Shimshock sends a ball forward. Thomas will be there. Heads it up, and that will be saved by Gant. Great save by the Wolves keeper. Wolves trying to cut into this deficit and Bears have just been pouring. Tries to go around and just not the right touch on it. And that ball will be cleared out of bounds. Kelly is there. Plays it back for Zuger. Zuger cuts inside. And that will be a goal kick. There's under one minute remaining here in this first half. Your Bears are up to a commanding lead of 3-0 over the Newberry Wolves. As a looping ball played forward, and it's going to be another throw in for the Bears. Axel trying to speed up the, the play here. Maybe perhaps try to score one more before the half whistle blows.
Thomas pushing forward. A lot of space for Thomas. Puts a ball forward and a little less on that. And that being a great ball for Kelly. And that's the first half, folks, as your Bears take a commanding lead of 3-0. to zero. And we will be back with first half analysis and first half stats after this break. Oh, this? I was playing catch a little too hard with a dog. He's got quite an arm. I've been through this before. It'll be better in a couple of days. Probably. Visit one of Ortho Carolina specialists right away by logging on to orthocarolina.com. Leave the waiting to this guy. Come on, honey. Ortho Carolina. You improved. Being a champion takes more than skill, more than endless drills, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the heart to give it your all, the agility to thrive from any angle, and the relentless drive to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create, and the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you. College degree would have been completely different had I not won Division II cross country for the University of Mount Olive. Having an athletic and academic scholarship was key for my success. And our coaches were really helpful with balancing out my academics and athletics. I decided to attend graduate school because I wanted to become an athletic director. The receiving the postgraduate scholarship through the NCAA provided me with the flexibility to choose the school that I wanted. So now I know that I can accomplish any goal that I set for myself. In NCAA Division II, community engagement is an initiative at all 25 national championships because student athletes want to give back while competing for a national title. Over the course of the year, Division II student athletes have an opportunity to leave a lasting impression in local communities throughout the country. Whether Division II student athletes are volunteering at hospitals, schools, after school care programs, foster homes, or retirement villages, they make a difference in the lives of others. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. that there was an opportunity to have my college paid for if I was good enough to play baseball at that level. That was going to make a big difference in my family. 
D2 baseball gave me an opportunity to play at a high level and to get an education that's going to be valuable for me throughout the rest of my life. I chose to take my experience of being a student athlete and pursue that within my career and to get a master's degree. If I wouldn't have had a baseball scholarship, there'd be no chance that I'm doing what I'm doing today. Paramount Kia in Hickory. We want to see you driving a new Kia or, hey, a quality pre-owned Kia. We've got a huge selection of new and pre-owned Kias. you got to get to Paramount Kia in Hickory. Highway 70, ParamountKia.com. Everett Chevrolet Buick GMC is ready for another exciting football season. Everett has been a proud sponsor of the Lenore Ryan Bears for 25 years, and we wish the Bears a safe and successful season. And August means it's all systems go for another winning season with the Carolina Panthers. We have a tradition of winning in the Carolinas, and when you want to be a winner in the car, truck, or SUV game, come see the sales and service champions at Everett, because if you didn't get an Everett deal, you dropped the ball, baby. Woo! I love being busy in my garden. I got flowers to plant and beds to clean out. When I was feeling really tired and not like myself, I saw a doctor. Look at me now. The doctors were good, they worked with me, and they laughed with me. I'm back to doing everything I love. I needed a doctor and I found the expert for my heart. Being a champion takes more than talent, more than the perfect pass, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the spirit to always push harder, the ability to overcome any hurdle, and the fire to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create. And the question isn't, can you do it? It's, will you?
we are back here at Moret Sports Complex. It's Adekali Ande here on the call. You're watching Bear Sports Network on the sack live. Your Bears are up 3-0 to zero over the Newberry Wolves. Let me just recap for you what happened here in that first half. Started off early. Bears getting up on the board. Nev Dustin curling one from outside the box. Then Axa Mushtaq making three defenders look absolutely ridiculous. Puts one back and up. 2-0 Bears. Then Mushtaq once again um, beating a defender and then laying it off the post. Puts it in. Bears up 3-0. to zero. I mean... I I knew this was going to be a a very big onslaught right here for the Bears, but not to this level. I thought it was maybe going to be 4-1. And still a lot of time left for this Newberry team to get back into this one. Bears had to stay disciplined, and I know that's what Coach Higgins is telling this team. They got to stay disciplined, and they got to stay hungry. Because right now the Wolves have... Did not eat anything there in that first half, and they're obviously really hungry for goals. And let's see what the Bears have here in this second half. So we're getting ready for the kickoff here of the second half. It's going to be that same 11 that finished the half for the Bears. That's Acton coming forward. Kelly now looking to turn. It's going to get bumped off the ball. It's going to be a foul going the other way. Bears ball. Mushtaq sends the ball forward around the 18. Shimshaw going to take it, play a service in. That's deep. Gant. I believe this is a new goalkeeper that's checked in the game. Well, I have to get confirmation on that. I believe that might be Delaney Hood. We'll get back to you on that one, but Wolves are trying to come back down 3 0. Wolves turning here. Good pressure by McFarlane on the hip of number 13. That's Daphne Hayami. Balls played forward, headed away. Shimshock, good job of clearing it. McFarland, good job sending away over to Kelly. Kelly turning, trying to pass it up ahead, and almost a very smart foul right there by Samantha Molina as the Bears were trying to counterattack. Now Shimshock is making a run. Shimshock was so open, still open, and that's just too much. Shimshock will not be able to get onto that one. Would love to see Mushtaq play that just a little bit early and give Shimshock a chance. All sent forward into the space. 
Good challenge by Shimshag. Now Sanchez trying to get onto it. McGarrell now out wide. Chris trying to find Mushtaq. Chris with a lot of space here in time. Sanchez. An out swinging ball over to Mushtaq looking to turn upfield. Thomas now to Mushtaq. Mushtaq, oh, trying to find Sanchez. And Sanchez caught in between coming back in support and going forward. A little wrong footed right there. Now Sanchez looking to turn. Now Mushtaq over to McFarlane. Warner coming on for a line. Now Rhea Acton making a big run forward. Acton still with the ball, still turning here for the Bears. Thomas now looking to switch it. Sanchez doing a good job of bodying and keeping that ball alive for the Bears. That's an errant pass by Acton. Miguel trying to win it back. Does just that. Now Zuger with a lot of space here. Could play it off to Acton who's making a run. Sanchez now turning and it's going to get dispossessed. That's a clean tackle by the Wolves. And great job by Mushtaq. Win it back. Shimshak now making a run forward. Mushtaq, the mag, not able to get it on the other side, though. Good defense by Acton. On the far sideline, putting great pressure there on the Wolves forwards, making it very difficult for them. And McFarland, a little miscommunication between... Kelly and Mushtaq. It's the right idea. Miguel circling and surveying. Thomas pushing forward. Out wide to Mushtaq. A lot of space for Mushtaq to go to work. Cuts inside. Mushtaq still with the ball. Still battling. Gets it back. Four players. Lays it back to Zuger. Still up in the air. Now Sanchez trying to pass it back across. McFarlane now has a shot over to Kelly, and Kelly just mistimes that touch. And, I mean, if you could just see 
how the defense moved when Mushtaq has the ball. Five defenders swarmed over towards her, and she still had possession. Lays it off for Shimshock. Shimshock attacking. Across the six now for Kelly and can't get to it. Now Cruis. Good pressure by Sanchez. Now Thomas pushing forward. Now Acton takes a heavy touch, trying to cut back in. And a hard challenge there on the far sideline. Going to be a Bears free kick. Now pass up ahead for Zuger. Going to get onto it. And that will be a corner kick. Looked like the defender kicked it out of bounds, but I guess the Wolves will get benefit of the doubt and be a goal kick now. Ball played up ahead, Kelly on it, and now Zuger trying to turn. Zuger with it, lays it across, headed up. Mushtaq is there. Mushtaq fires, and that's a hard deflection. And not even a flinch from number 20, Sally Slice. Ball still up in the air. That was a hard shot by Mushtaq. And Slice did not even show any reaction to that. Right off the, the stomach. Now Sanchez turning. Shimshock having to come a long ways to backtrack. And that's great pressure by Shimshock. And a foul called the other way. Let's hope Shimshock's all right. Comes up a little gimpy there. Probably just needs to stretch things out. That was a hard challenge. Looked like Shimshock raced north of 30, 40 yards to go get that ball. That's great hustle by the senior captain. Ball played across, Wolves threatening. Ball across the six now. Cruz having to send that one up in the air. Shimshock now setting it away. Good clearance by the captain. And a great defense by Kelly putting pressure on. Shots gonna be fired and that will go wide.
It's Kelly now in the midfield, going to swing it back to Thomas. Cruis, as Simshock makes a run for it. Going to race towards that ball. And that will be a goal kick. Great backtracking and right there by Shimshock. Suger now cutting in and out. Kelly turning out wide for Mushtak. Good ball. Action, Mustak 1v1, beats the defender. Mustak still with the ball, lays it across, and Zuger was right there to lay the last touch on that one. Great save by the keeper. Mushtaq now on the ball. Good pass to Kelly. Out wide for Shimshak. Shimshak 1v1 now. Back to Mushtaq. Cuts inside. Beats one defender. Lays it off for Sanchez. Bears are looking to attack. Going to reset it now. McFarlane will go back. Cruis going to take a shot from out wide. Why not put her name on the stat sheet? Kelly looking the race towards the ball. Shimshock sends it forward. Bears now, excuse me, Wolves now possessing. Looking to turn up field. Ball played forward. And going to be offside is number 20 of the Wolves. That is Sally Slice. Now Thomas racing forward over to Mushtaq here on the wing. Mushtaq 1v1. Oh my goodness. Mushtaq cuts inside, lays it across. There's no one there in that final third to finish it off. Mushtaq just beating defenders left and right.
Now Sanchez still with the ball. Zuger shoots and that one curling high over the bar. So we're a little under halfway here in this, almost halfway here in this first, excuse me, second half of soccer, LR soccer. Your women's team looking to stay undefeated here at home. You show the replay of that last shot by Zuger as that one sailed right over the bar. Shots fired and that will be saved. Wolves have just been shut down here today. They've had very few opportunities. Just as I say that, they're looking to attack. Good job by Shimshock. For a one-two combination right there. But Mushtaq not able to get it to go. As Mushtaq making a run, that's just going to be a little too far for Mushtaq to get to. Fallen looking to step towards it. Miguel wins it back for the Bears. As it's been, as I said before, a commanding lead. If you're just tuning in, your Bears are up 3-0. to zero. Moose Talk checking in back on side. And just too much on that ball. Got to put a little touch on that one. Moose Talk needs some space to run onto it. Thomas now gets it for the Bears. Lays it back for Shimshock. Shimshock sends it forward. Sanchez now looking to make a move. Kelly gets it back. Be a Bears throw in on this near sideline. The Bears have kind of taken it a little bit off the gas and playing more of a defensive game here. It's number 21, Abby Biddle checks in the game for the Bears for the first time. Now Thomas pushing forward here for the Bears. Out wide to Zuger. Good touch. Zuger trying to 
make the defender miss and go around. Not able to do that. Shot fired off the crossbar. Still around in a dangerous spot here for the Bears. And that will be a goal kick now for the Wolves. This keeper that's come in, still don't know who it is. Really can't see. At least now I can see. It's number zero, Delaney Hood. She has come in and done a great job here for the Wolves. Come up with some big saves. Otherwise, this game could have gotten even more ugly. Kelly on the ground trying to keep it alive. Now McGarrow out wide to Shimshock. Mushtaq turning inside. Lays it off for Rhea Acton. Zuger trying to find Abby Biddle, not able to make the connection. Shot will be fired. Good deflection by Zuger. Ref will call a foul there, stopping the momentum of the Bears. Now Charlotte Warner will take this free kick. Now Mushtaq over to Kelly. Kelly turning. Looking for some support. Trying to find Zuger. Not able to make the run needed. Kelly lets it go and not able to keep possession here for the Bears. Kelly, the great turn, keeps it alive. Kelly shoots, fire, saved by the Wolves. That's a great save by Hood. Now Shimshock plays it up for Kelly, still in the box. Now Biddle fires. Oh, hits the crossbar again. Now Mushtaq turning, makes one defender miss, still has the ball. Biddle, Biddle fires, and that's saved by another defender. Biddle really trying to get on the score sheet here. Now McFarlane tries her luck from deep, and that will go out of bounds. Great effort by the Bears.
This ball's played forward. Good header by Thomas. Now Cruis sends it. Still in bounds. Now Biddle racing towards it. Kelly trying to win it, and that will be a throw in for the Bears. Good hustle by Kelly. Kelly turning and a foul will be called against the Wolves as it is a little under 17 minutes remaining here. Moose talk to take the free kick. Balls played in by Moose talk. It's up around the six, and that will be a corner kick for the Bears. Shock to take the corner. Short corner into Cruis. Now out wide for Moose Talk. Shimshock plays a ball back in. Thomas is there. Now Kelly looking to turn. As Kelly trying to earn a free penalty kick. For the Bears, great hustle by Shimshock. Now acting a lot of room here. Zuger's out wide, making a run. Acting now to Kelly. And Kelly fires and that takes a deflection. Strong challenge by Zuger, and the foul will be going the other way now. Wolves ball. So we see a, a sleuth of Bears right there. Four players looking to sub in the game, waiting on the ref to acknowledge them and put them in. Uh, Moose talk. Cruis making a run forward. Cruis gets onto it, cuts inside. And that will be cleared away as you rarely see Cruz come off that back line of first, make a run forward, the center back. He's got a lot of Bears coming in. That's number six. Livy Murphy checks into the game for the first time. Ball played forward. Murphy is there. Biddle cuts back in. Plays it to Van Eerden. Van Eerden looking to turn. Jim Shock, a good ball in the box. Headed up by Van Eerden. Murphy now racing towards it. Ball set forward. Shimshock racing towards it. Good challenge by Shimshock. And great job by Cruis to win that one. And a foul would be going the other way now. Bears free kick. Yeah. 
Is Warner to send the free kick away? And Biddle making a run. They're under 12 minutes here to play. Bears are still up 3-0. to zero. It's been a just very dominant half. Now Acton making a run forward. Van Aaron turning over to Biddle. Biddle cuts inside. Acton out wide for Kyle. Nav Dustin, heavy touch, cuts inside, and loses track the ball. She's going to have to backtrack to get it. Great hustle by Shimshock. So Murphy is making a run here. Dustin now plays the ball forward for Acton. Jim Shock backtracking. Good job of stopping the Wolves player. Good challenge by Livy Murphy. She's got a lot of space here. And it's clipped from behind. Dustin. Bears are just keeping possession here, trying to close this one out and remain unbeaten at home. Ball sent forward. Acton trying to get onto it. Dustin settles it. Now over to Olivia Thomas. As Cruz is the only defender back now, McGarrell will inch back to in support. As Thomas will check off and That is number 18, Ina Malerna Sarah, checking in. Van Eeren turning, still with the ball. Out wide for Acton. Acton has to go towards it. And that will be sent into the dugout. And a big challenge right there. And that will be going in favor of the Bears. 
6.48 remaining here. Free kick taken by Dustin. It's up in the air. Right to Hood. Pass played in. Leaves that Van Eden trying to keep it here for the Bears. Dustin turning upfield. Now Cruis going to push forward here for the Bears. A lot of space. Good pass to Biddle. Trying to find Livy. Good challenge by Livy Murphy. And throw in for the Wolves. Biddle now on the ball. Good ball looking for Kyle. Still around on the six. Hood is racing towards it and she's going to kick it out of bounds. And a foul. It's going to be a free kick opportunity now for the Bears. Dustin will be on it. Dustin to take it. Dustin laces one in, curls it, and that's put into the back of the net. Nev Dustin, how do you do? She's just a freshman, ladies and gentlemen. 4-0 Bears. We show you the replay of that free kick. That was nothing but the back of the net by Nev Dustin. Spares push their lead to 4 0. That might be one for Nev Dustin's highlight reel. So that was a deep free kick, and Keeper had no shot. Ball played forward over Van Eerden. Good move by Olivia Murphy, and she's tucked from behind. And that. That's going to be a card right there for the Wolves. Another free kick opportunity for the Bears. This one's has got to be a service by Dustin. A lot of bears packed around the 18. <laughs> Dustin, the service, plays it across. Still bouncing around. Now Biddle, and that will be cleared away. Off, 
Shimshak will take her time here to throw this one in. Murphy, good touch. Van Eerden now with the ball, lays it off for Dustin. Dustin turns, Dustin fires, and Dustin scores! Run it back again, Nev Dustin. That's not deja vu, folks. She's just that good. Bears up five to zero. show you the replay of that shot. Dustin able to curl it from the outside and it was a great shot by the freshman. That is the hat trick for Ned Dustin. Freshman with three goals here on the game. Good challenge by Sarah and the Bears. wide the Bears so there's a minute left <laughs> so there's under a minute left to play your Bears are up 5-0, to zero, trying to close this one out, remain unbeaten here at home. That's the game, folks. Your Bears come out on top 5-0 to here at Moret Sports Complex. Bears sweep the Newberry Wolves 2-0. to It's a great match overall, but just dominant fashion here by your Bears. If I have to give a game ball, it's got to go to the freshman, Nev Dustin. Five, excuse me, three big goals here on the match. Getting that hat trick. 5-0, your Bears on top. It's been a great evening for LR Soccer. They finish 2-0 here. Men's team winning 4-0, and then the women's team now matching that, winning 5-0 as well. It's been a great night. I'm out of calling on there here on the call, and you've been watching Bear Sports Network on the SAC Live. Wish you a great night.